Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn about switch case statement in JavaScript and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. In the earlier session we have learnt about if else statement. So if I go to my earlier uh, program, here is the file, JavaScript file where we learnt about if else statement. Now here you can see in if else we can test some conditions and based on those conditions we can create some statements. However, in case you have a lot of conditions to check, if else might not be a very suitable code to write. So in that case, we can create a switch case statements, which again tests conditions. And if we have multiple conditions, we can take help of a switch case statement. Now, if I go to Google and search for switch case, and I will go to images so that, that I can show you some examples. So here you can see this image. So here you can see we have an expression and then we create multiple cases and whenever the case is true based on the expression it will go in into that case and execute the block whatever we have written and then it can come out. Let me show you another good image for this. You can see this one. So here we do a switch and we give some expression or some variable or some value and then we have cases. So whenever the case matches whatever is the outcome of the switch or whatever we have given in the expression or variable in the bracket here, it will execute the statement and then it will come out. And the same thing you can use, uh, you can see here, this is a example in a programming language. So here you can see we have the value 5 here for dollar $s and we say switch dollar $s so the value 5 is here now. So we write cases, case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4, case 5. So in this case, case 5 will get executed because we have value 5 here. So this will get executed and then we break out of the loop or the statement. So if I show you a very simple and quick example, I will create a new file. I will say this is switch case.js and here I will say let star rating equals to some digit so we can have say star rating between 1 to 5 and then I will say switch and I will say star rating so whatever the value is here will come here and then I will start the block and end the block using curly brackets and inside this I can now write cases so I can say case 1 and a colon and then whatever block I want to write so I want to write here console.log and in case 1 which is 1 star rating it is bad so I will say uh, this is very bad rating and then in case it is case 2 which is rating 2 I will say console.log and here I will say bad and I will keep on adding like this so for example we have case 3 here which is rating 3 here I will print average and then if we have rating 4 I will here print out good and for rating 5 I will print out excellent and then what if the rating is not between 1 to 5. If somebody gives an input which is not an integer between 1 to 5, we also have a default case. So if nothing of this is true, it will go to the default and here I will print out, I will say enter a valid integer between 1 and 5 and that's it. So you can see this is my switch case statement. If I run this program, let us see the output. So here, let me save this and run this again. And here, here we are switching. This should be fine. Okay, there was some mistake. I will run this again. And here you are seeing, it is coming into this case, which is case four, because we have given the star rating as four. So it is printing good. However, it is also then printing excellent and also the default case here. So that is because we are not breaking out of the loop. So once it, uh, it is true, it will come inside and it will keep on executing until the end. So for that, we also put a break statement. So I can put a break statement in every case so that once this is true, it will print it out and come out. So I'll put here 
and here as well so now if I run this again it should not print other values if I run this it is printing good if I say star rating is 3 and I run this again it is printing average if I change it to 5 and run this again it prints excellent so you can see this is how we can use switch case and if I try to do the same thing with if else I will have to write a lot of if else statements so this is uh, more suitable in case we have these kind of conditions uh, another condition I can think of is if I say let month equals to 5 and then I say switch month and then in this cases I will say if case is 1 then console.log and I will print out month is January and I'll break and similarly if we have case 2 it should print out month is February and so on so you can take this as an assignment or a homework you can create a switch case for month and you can try it out and do some hands-on so I hope this was very useful for you you can take some more examples and do hands-on with switch case it will be very easy and very interesting and I will meet you in the next episode of JavaScript thank you so much for watching